students here i am back with my part 2 video of class 6 chapter 4 i hope through my part 1 video you have learned three important terms that are fabric thread and yarn well in this video we are going to cover two main topics that are sources of fibers and their classification second is common characteristic of different fibers first come to sources of fibers and their classification students there are different sources through which we obtain fibers but we classify them into two parts first is natural fiber and second is man made fiber fibers that are obtained naturally from plants or animals are known as natural fibers for example cotton jute etc fibers that are made by using chemicals are known as man made fibers for example nylon rayon etc now here we have finished the first topic of today's video that is sources of fibers and their classification our next topic is common characteristic of different fibers now students listen very carefully as we all know that in today's date we have many fibers like cotton jute nylon wool etc तो इन सब फाइबर्स के अलग अलग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स होते हैं ये सब एक नहीं होते कॉटन के अलग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक होते हैं जूट हैव डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वूल हैव डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू लर्न दीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ ईच फाइबर सो लेट्स बिगेन विथ फर्स्ट फाइबर दैट इज कॉटन स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू एवर हर्ड अबाउट विक्स well it seems that you are having a question mark in your mind don't worry i'll tell you the part of candle that is burned is known as wick jo candle ka part burn hota hai use hum wick kehte hain these wicks are made up of small cotton wools well students this this was just an extra information to you now i'll start with the characteristic of cotton fibers first characteristic is that its color is white cream and light brown it absorb water very well and allow body heat to go out bachcho this is the reason due to which we wear cotton clothes in summer season our mother says na wear cotton t-shirt wear cotton shirts in summer because it absorb water well and allow heat to go out fabrics that are made up of cotton fiber are strong durable and easy to wash for example we wash our cotton clothes at home by washing machine or by hand the area where there is black soil and warm climate are well for growing cotton plants wo area jahan par black soil and warm climate hota hai wo well area hote hain matlab sahi jagah hoti hain to grow the cotton plants state of india like andhra pradesh maharashtra and karnatak are well known for growing cotton now student here comes the another definition combining it is the process in which cotton balls burst open and the seeds covered with cotton fibers from these balls cotton is usually picked by hand to separate fibers from seeds students combining procedure is also known as ginning is procedure ko now i will explain you in hindi ये वो प्रोसेस है जिसमें कॉटन बॉल बर्स्ट होती है खुल जाती है जो सीड होते हैं वो कवर हो जाते हैं ऊपर फ्रॉम द कॉटन फाइबर 
इनको हम अलग से हाथ से निकालते हैं टू सेपरेट द सीड एंड द फाइबर जो कवर किए हुए थे सीड को तो वही कॉटन एक्सट्रैक्शन का प्रोसीजर है नाउ इट्स टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ अनदर फाइबर दैट इज फ्लैक्स इट इज ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम स्टॉक ऑफ फ्लैक्स और यू कैन से स्टेम ऑफ प्लांट and the fiber made from it is known as linen characteristic of flax are they are shiny smooth durable and easy to wash its properties are similar to cotton fiber and can be used for summer wear students i hope that you have understood about cotton and flax now it's time to come to the characteristic of next fiber that is jute it is obtained from the stem of the jute plant do you know students the maximum production of jute takes place in our country that is india it is cultivated during the rainy season west bengal assam and bihar these three states are popularly known for growing jute well the characteristic of jute is that it is hairy and rough we use jute for making gunny bags and ropes students do you know that we should use jute bags instead of plastic polythenes well let's come to another fiber that is wool most of you might be knowing about wool am i right yes it's is obtained from sheep but you may not know about the characteristic of wool so here they are its color vary from off white to light cream they are soft absorbent and do not wrinkle easily students do you know when do we wear woolen clothes yes you are right we wear woolen clothes in winters the reason behind this is wool do not observe the body heat to go out now let's begin with understanding of another fibers characteristic that is silk it is obtained from silk worm these are soft fine smooth lustrous warm and are usually used in formal wear students you can see this fabric at your home by asking your mother to show the silk sarees it's time to begin with a second last topic of today's video that is characteristic of rayon it is a man made fiber which is smooth cool and absorbent but is weak in nature it gets wrinkled easily pupil call the rayon fiber as artificial silk or art silk because of its close resemblance to silk these are heat sensitive the most interesting part about rayon is that it soften and melt quickly when it comes in contact with heat finally it's time to understand the characteristic of last fiber that is synthetic fiber students you might have heard here and there about synthetic but do you know what is it synthetic fibers are made up from petroleum products fibers like nylon polyester etc are example of synthetic fibers well kids this fiber also catches fire easily and can stick to body this is the reason we should not wear synthetic while working in kitchen especially our mothers should not cook food if they are wearing synthetic suits sari etc synthetic fibers do not wrinkle and can be made shiny or dull they have good strength and are simple to wash and also get easily dry we can say 
that synthetics are easy to care and maintain these should not be used while cooking food or working in the kitchen with this i end up my today's video and will be back soon with last video of this chapter till then your homework is to learn the characteristic of fibers at your home bye bye students and take care and do study at your home